Are you trying to do this? How do you blend textures together? Alright, so the first thing you need to know when trying to blend materials is that you need to be using a blend material and not a normal material. These are different. I use this website for my materials because it comes with four essential files that make a texture high quality. I want to use dirt in this case and I'm choosing the small 1k file because the higher quality you choose, the bigger file size. These are all my project textures, so I'm going to extract the file we just downloaded into my dirt folder that I just made. So in our game dev tools, we open up Source 2's material editor. Instantly go to file and press new. Then go to file and save as. Now we're saving our blended material file. So I'm going to put it in my blends folder that I just made because I put all my blended materials in there. Once you hit save, this sphere should appear. Now click shaders. We want to make sure that we select the VR standard shader option. There are many different types of shaders. Some simple like 2D, some complex with animations and lots of layers. The standard shader should take the files we downloaded. Press this folder icon under the color section. Navigate to where you extracted those files we just downloaded. Sometimes it will show what you need automatically, but if you don't see it, press the all images option and load the one you need. Now you just do the same with the normal layer by selecting the normal image file that was also downloaded. Remember to make sure all images is selected and you are looking in the right folder. All right, so if we scroll down on the left here, we'll see this blend section. We want to select two layers because that's what we're doing. I'll just minimize all these tabs so you can see what's going on. Since we selected two layers, it's given us this extra two layers. Now, just like before, we go into layer one and just select the other texture we want to be blending into. In my case, I'm going to blend my dirt texture into a sand texture. Repeat the process like we did before, loading the colors with the color files and the normal in the normal files. Notice this new reveal mask section. This controls how two textures we are blending together fade in and out from one another. It's not needed and it's basically for advanced use. We need to make sure this blend normals button is ticked. This basically takes the bumpiness from each texture and merges them together. I want to merge dirt and sand, so it makes sense in my case. Lastly, double check that you've loaded the color file and the normal files from each texture in the appropriate layers. This border section is a bonus section which is used to blend the border between two textures. Use any color, play around with it to make a smoother blend. Now you just need a file save as and we're done. I place all my blends in a blend folder I created Name it whatever you like, but it's easy to search for if you put blend in the file name. Open up a new instance of Hammer, lay down a fresh ground, and now click browse. We're going to navigate to our add-ons folder, which I showed you guys in the setup video down in the description. Click only to show only the materials in that add-ons folder and select the blended material we just created. You can alternate between materials by using this slider. When using blend textures, you can change the size and strength of your brush with the middle mouse key.
There are a few reasons why your blend textures might not be working. Let's take this ground texture and set it to a non-blended material. This grass texture is not a blended material file, it's just one single texture. Because of this, nothing can be painted onto it no matter what brush you use. So if I grab this ground section that has a blended material applied to it already, pressing shift and mouse right click, and then click our normal ground section and press shift T, it will apply our blended material texture to this new section. The last thing you may notice is even with everything set up right, if the face you are painting onto is too large, your brush size won't be able to be as small as you'd like it to be. The more faces your ground surface has, the more detailed you can be with your brush sizing. To fix this, click on faces and scroll down until you see the increase subdivisions button. You can also just press these level buttons. They do the same thing and level 3 seems to be as low as I ever go. And in case you're wondering, yes, a blended material is bigger file size than a non-blended material.